Hey there fans, it's us, we're back again. Today, we've just come to Woodlands again, because we like it, it's close. We've got three pints of maggots, red maggots, some prawns, that's it, that's all we've got. We've got the waggler rod, and it's exactly the same setup as last time, and, and my dad's stuff. And uh, we're just gonna see what comes along today. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll get into a few fish. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll fish until about half four maybe. Who knows what we'll get. We're just gonna spray red maggots and use a bit of prawn. See what happens. Hopefully we'll get a few fish, probably a load of bream. We might even get carp. You never know, we might get the elusive perch. Fingers crossed. First chuck. We've had a bream. It's no more than five past ten. And this is how we're putting on. We're using a size 12. Again. That's a bit bad quality. Isn't that a stinky old fucking brain? But what fucking slime you get from these bastards. Uh, it's not a bad stamp. Slime or some twat forgot his fucking. I've got a towel today. What a trump. These, these combats gonna really need to go in the water later on. They're gonna be covered in bream slime. Casting it over the area where I'm fishing, bringing it back, sinking my line. And every cast. Getting a few maggots in the cow pole. I'm just feeding the swim. What 
usually tends to happen when you're fishing these kind of places is that you will start off catching the bream, maybe some roach and some smaller fish and then the bigger fish get wind of the bait and follow the smaller fish in so hopefully by about one or two o'clock we might have some carp in the swim and maybe the elusive perch who knows the quest continues well considering it's the first of november it's really not a bad day but we've had a massive um, oh, mr bloody pipe massive amount of water chucked down over the weekend it doesn't seem to put the fish off any but I felt the water temperature, it's still reasonable. But there's no real deep spots in this lake. I was talking to the bailiff and it's all just pretty much constant puddle, about three and a half foot deep. Otherwise I'd be heading to the deeper water. But there isn't really any. So it's just a case of suck it and see. See what we can draw into the swim. Off of these lilies. It's quite a nice feature. So hey. Fish a chuck now. <laughs> All little green, but not as much fishing. And they start building a weight, and then the bigger ones come in, so that's what I'm hoping. I'm just building a swim at the moment. For the bigger ones to come in. And I'm fishing slightly over depth as well. Might bring it up in the water a little bit. Water warms up a little bit. Might get some of those lovely rod that we had last time here. That'd be nice. Look what we got, it's only a tiddler. But look what we got. Ha <laughs> ha, there's perch in the swim, baby. Where there be little ones, there be big ones. That would be my first perch this year. And it's a tiddler. It doesn't matter. And two species for the day. Bream, perch. They're getting bigger. Yeah, baby. They're getting bigger. That's three we've had now, and they are getting bigger. Yeah, baby. Well, this is what we came for. This bad boy. Oh yes. <laughs> Finally, we're getting some perch. That's probably about three quarters of a pound. Yes, baby. You beauty, go and get all your big brothers and sisters. Nice to meet you. Finally, we're getting into some fucking perch. Awesome fucking sauce. So that one was about three quarters of a pound. It's not a two pounder. But the perch are getting bigger. It's 11 o'clock and we've already got perch feeding in the swim. 
Watson. Now all we need is a fucking whopper. Keep the red maggots going in. Getting plenty of little ones now. Getting plenty of little ones now. Another bream. Getting lots of bream there. The perch seem to have disappeared at the moment. These aren't a bad stamp of fish. They're okay. The trouble is, they're always they're just covered in fucking slime. Nice fish day. There's a slime. Snuff monsters. Yeah. I think it's covered in it. There's a couple of little tips for you. If you're new to waggler fishing or maggot fishing, when you're putting your maggots on, just give them a little squeeze. You poke them on the butt end, the sharp end, and the butt end. If you give them a little squeeze, their butt pops out. You can hook them on really nicely. And then they're all wriggly. And the fish loves a wriggly maggot. Fucking glasses with me. Nice little bunch of maggots. All wriggling away. Now, another tip as well. If you're new to waggler fishing, which is a float which is attached only at the bottom. When you cast out, just before it hits the water, just put your finger on your spool and it stops your line dead just before it goes in. It makes it go nice and strong. So you float and then your weights and then your bait all land in a nice straight line. And then when you're bringing it back in, dip your rod dip in the water and just do a couple of quick turns. And that sinks your line. So it will stay exactly where it is. And when you're waggler fishing as well, you want to get as my, my dad said to me, this is one of the things he said, you keep the bait going in a little and often. A little and often. And you'll get the fish feeding. So just keep your bait going in. Every second cast or so, just put about 15, 20 maggots out, a couple of, couple of them. And that will keep the bait going in and it keeps the fish interested and in looking for your bait. A little bit more substantial. I think it's another bream. It's going to need the net. Don't know what it is yet. I think it's a bream. Looks like it. So you see, yeah, it is. It's a nice brain. <laughs> That's a cracker. That's more like it. Oh, that bad boy. That's a hybrid. That is a roach. Clustering a roach. And a brain, I think. Look at that. That's a lovely hybrid. If that's a roach, that's a fucking gronker. I don't think it is. Well, we 
was starting to build quite a nice little swing in here, but we got 20 bream, we have got 6 or 7 perch, the biggest one is probably about a pound, and we've just had a cracking roach bream hybrid of nearly 2 pounds. That's a beautiful fish. Fingers crossed, we might get some proper crackers coming soon. Kids, when, the, when they take it deep down, make sure you've got this gorge up here. Just push it the way that it went in. There's another little lovely little perch. I love these fish, they're just the most beautiful things. It's got some nice colours in this one. See you later, buddy. Maybe just get into something again. It's a bit bigger. I think there's another brain. Yeah. That's a fucking nice spring. And that busted. Yeah, baby. And that's a cracker. Substantial here. I can now it's actually taking it broken up, it's taking light. Shit. Fuck. Nope. I think we're into a carp. Here we are. Little wildy. Can I have these hang on a bit? Oh, stay out there, boy. Nice little wildy. We're building a nice little swim here. I believe it, we got a fucking tench on the 1st of November. I fucking love tench. Turning into quite a day's fishing. We've got tents as well. They're beautiful eyes. Stunningly beautiful fish.
These are a nice stamp of brain. Look at some of that bastard. Very nice. See you later, buddy. Slime, man. Fucking slime. Well, it's half past two now. We're going to fish until about half four. So it's the last couple of hours. We've probably had about mm, 15, 20 pound of fish from match fishing. I don't know how many fish, just lots of them. But um, the weather's definitely feeling like November now. It's just got really cold and it's started to rain. And the bites have kind of dried up. We haven't had a bite in about 15, 20 minutes. So we'll give it another couple of hours and see how we do. Hopefully that big perch will come along, which will be fucking awesome. But having one at about a pound, it's a bloody good start. We've had five different species. We've had bream, we've had perch, we've had a cracking hybrid. Uh, we had a wild carp called a common, and we had a tench as well. So we're doing really well. We're bagging up. The last couple of hours, let's see how we do. Oh, the first bite in ages. It's another slimy brain. At least it's a fish. It's a nice size as well. Stripped into some on a fucking prawn. No idea what it is. Could it be my two pound fucking perch? It's got them right under my feet. No idea what is a fucking carp on a prawn. Would you fucking believe it? Bait that I had out for fucking perch. And a carp takes a fucking prawn. Unbelievable. It was me hoping that that was going to be the fucking fish of my fucking dreams. Still got the float out as well. It's fucking. It's not coming up. Nope, just stay out of there. It's quite a nice size car, by the looks of it. Yes. Fuck me. Would you believe it? We've got a fucking ghosty on a prawn. Get out of that boy. Yeah, baby. A lovely fish. <laughs> well, we looked into something on a prawn again. And it's staying down there. I have no idea what it is. Come on, baby, be my perch. Be my perch. 
There's no call for anything. Come on, be my badge. It's a fucking tinge. you fucking believe it? A cop and tench on prongs. Fucking hell. I thought you were my perch, my baby. You're still beautiful. But I thought you was my perch. Nice to meet you, buddy. And that was gonna be my perch. <sighs> Still no fucking big perch. <sighs> I was just about to start packing up then. I'll have one more cast. Well, new fans, what a good day's fishing. Um. We must have had about 30 pound of fish. Um, okay, species in order, we caught bream, lots and lots of bream. Uh, then we caught perch, we had a perch, not our, our famed two pounder, but we have one about a pound. Um, hmm. Then we had a really nice hybrid. That was about two pound. That was an absolute cracking fish. Roach bream hybrid. That's beautiful. Um, and we've had, and then we got seriously bust up by something. Um, then we've had two carp and two tench as well. And weirdly enough, we had a carp and a tench on prawn that was meant for a two pound perch. <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't ask me how it works. I don't know, I've never caught fish on prawns apart from in the sea before, but hey. <laughs> so yeah, great days fishing. Thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. If you want to subscribe, I'm trying to get to 20 subscribers. That would be awesome, because I didn't even think I'd get one. Hey, hello again. That's what I was saying before, I was so rudely cut off and my battery running out. Um. Yeah, if you like this kind of shit, do us a favour, give us a like. Or even better, give us a subscribe, because I've got 17. And it would make an old noob really happy if I could get to 20, because I didn't even think I'd get one. Anyway, thanks for watching. You're awesome. Noob Fishing, out.